Hey guys, it's Nick, also known as Zippy Zombo. This is my Wheelock CH70 fire alarm with my homemade switch or pull station, as I call it, which obviously it's not technically a pull station. This is going to be a video demonstrating this CH70, and I will probably make a video later on, or really soon after this, about how you wire up a, um, a toggle switch to this, or a pull station, maybe. I don't know exactly how you wire pull stations. I don't have one, but I'm going to show you how to wire it up with this. So that way, if you get into these things, and you don't want to just plug it in, and it turns on, and then unplug it, and it turns off, because that's just kind of boring. So this way, you'd have a switch. So... I'm going to do that in a different video. This time, I'm just going to demonstrate this. So anyway, I found all this right here, and this cover in a drawer, and so I decided just to use that to make it look better. And then this is the only, this is the switch. It's a three position, an on, an off, and another on. Right now I don't have the power on, that's why it's not doing anything. And so there's the wires that run from the power supply, they run to this, and then it sends it out to here. Like I said, I will do a video explaining how I wired this to this later on. So right now... Sorry for the big mess of wires. Okay, let's turn on the power switch to the whole thing, which is on this power strip, just to make it easier. Okay, power is now on. See that green light? That means it's got power. Okay, so to make this work, which right now I actually have my volume on my CH70 turned down, so I'm going to turn that up all the way, just to make this more legitimate, I guess, or louder anyway, as soon as I get this in here, there we go, okay, now it's all the way up, okay, back to this, alright, I will now push the switch up and it will activate, three, two, one. I don't know how good you guys can hear me, but this is a 1575 Candela strobe. 75 when you're looking right at it, 15 on the side. I'm pretty sure you all know that too. So whenever I want to stop it, you take this switch, push it to the middle. It stops it. And then, obviously, if you push it down, it doesn't do anything. But if I push it up, 3, 2, 1, sets it off. Okay, so let's turn it off, and what I always do is run the power out of it, so I flip off the switch on my power strip and pull up the switch and it runs all the power out of it, so then the green light turns off. So anyway, we'll do it one more time. Now honestly, I think this alarm is actually pretty quiet, even though it's on max volume right now, it's still pretty quiet. So last time. Thanks for watching. By the way, this was a Wheelock CH70 fire alarm with a homemade pull station. Thanks for watching.